Michael, I'm going to go backwards and now have you go over the figures that you found problematic. Uh, I don't know if problematic is a good choice of words. What, what, are, what do you mean by the March or the April? Well, uh, it depends on what they have. What is there, did anybody bring with them any monthly reports? Oh, yeah, March or April. 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 I have February, March, and April. Everybody has the April report. Okay, they do? Okay. Yeah. Okay. For the new members who are here, you will see the date, a May date, but it's always for the month before it. So you get to choose. Yeah. If anybody wants the March, I have some extra copies there of the March, if you want. But I, I looked at the uh, March, and a couple of things jumped out. Just to give you a highlight on the March. You, it's not in your, you, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. I'm, Here's a copy if you want to read the, the march, but the highlight out of the march that really got my attention is if on the first page it says that the um, expenses and so forth and operating departments and so forth for the total for the year were 24.5 percent of the budget. That's about two percent than what it had on average more than has been in previous years. That's the highlight point of interest for March marches other than one little thing which we all expected and that's in public works but the snow removal fund was pretty well beat to death no argument there no it's self-explanatory but the only thing that might get your attention on the public works department is the management over time also went bonkers at that same time so putting that putting marches aside moving on to april looking at the same type of issues you'll notice that we're on the front page of that it says we're at 32.7 if you compare that to the year before it was at 31.3 so that means we spent about one and a half percent more money at this point in time than we did last year just so you'll know on the front page i see 33.3 well you no, it's 32.7 the target is 33.3. Oh, the target is, oh, I'm sorry. Second bullet item, Richard, if you were listed. All right. Okay, the target is 33.3. In other words, that's not a big deal because you're below the target. Okay, but that's dividing everything in 12 equal sections. And we know that the town doesn't spend money exactly the same every month. We have several months in the winter time where the costs and expenses are significantly lower than they are, especially the three months in the summer. So one could argue that you want to be below the target significantly at this point in time and we're only one percent compared to 31.3 last year so that means we're about a one and a half percent ahead of last year percentage-wise spending the budget in summary mm -hmm. and, now wait, let me give a couple other highlights and we'll move on because there's not too much enough else that gets your attention there's several things that get your attention but all basically small small things if you're looking at on page uh, 10, of, no, that's not 10 of 16, it's 9 of 16. There's, let me find it again. I have a little corner turn just so I can flip right to them. Uh, snow and ice removal on page 11 of 16, you'll notice that we are, uh, you know, right up there on the uh, uh, snow removal. Everybody expected that, so it's not almost a non-issue, okay, all by itself. But then if you look at administration on the previous page, uh, 10 and 16, you'll notice that the overtime for street and highways is really maxing out too. It's just about um, uh, 100, it's 100.45% on page 10 of 16, the, the third item down with numbers on it. Mm -hmm. Overtime wages, it's 100% already. So that's something to be concerned about all by itself, all by itself. But don't forget, each department has their own bottom line. So in the grand scheme, they might sweep by okay. But keep that in mind that our administration over time is already maxed. And then going back to the front page, uh, again, uh, the other thing that I want you to notice, but besides the 32.7 on the front page, is if you go back to public works, the police department and the fire department seem to have their budget pretty well under control. But if you look at the bottom line of the public works, which is on page um, 12 of 16, okay, mm -hmm. public works is getting right up close to the end. Grand total public works, 30.12%. Okay, that's 
you really getting close to 33.3%. And you know that public works, besides snow removal, will be busy in the summer with trash and other things going on at the beach and so forth and so on. So if we're going to watch a department as we go forward, that's all my suggestion is here, <coughs> got to keep an eye on um, public works because I have a feeling they're going to have a little trouble. What was that line you were highlighting on that page, um, 12 or 16? The bottom line? The bottom line 12 or 16 okay. is the bottom line grand total. 30% 30 30 30 30 30 30 spent. 30.12. I mean, that's not above the target, but keep in mind, normally we're significantly below the target this time of year. Did you see Mike's meeting? Did you see yesterday's meeting? <coughs> the whole second meeting? Mike explained some of those. He explained all that. He also gave the highlights off the front page. Mm -hmm. He always goes through all that, which is yeah. really great on his part. And if I had been at the meeting, you know, like Mr. Waddell is here, for example, I don't think I've had too many questions because Mike always does a pretty good job of explaining the details on the cover letter. So when you're looking through all the numbers, the first thing you want to do is, I may suggest to you, is read his cover notes. I will imagine Christy will do something similar to that because it explains a lot of the questions you might have if you're scanning the numbers. Like when I went through this and just scanning the numbers, I had questions on page 16 and 16. Like the back buyback program on page Mike, 16. Can I just interrupt you for one minute sure. going back to 12 to 16? Yeah, 12 to 16. Are you done at 12 to 16? Yeah, 12 to 16. Okay. Transfer station. Now we know we were going to run high and out of whack with the snow budget based on the weather. Yeah. But now the sanitation, we're looking at 35.52. So we're off the target there. And we're looking at a lot of overtime wages, up to 48 percent. And we're not in the high trash part of the year. And I think that we have to hold into these things from now, because this speaks to the lack of manpower that we have, that we're running into overtime to this degree. And I expected the snow removal. I'm keeping my fingers crossed and fine tune these. I mean, this is something new that we're, we're doing. I mean, we've had Mike Schwozer in the past who's always led us, and, and now we have a gal who's worked with us. Um, Christy Pulliam is now our new um, financial director up there, and I'm sure she'll do very well, and, and Mike is still in the shadows. But I think that you have to stop looking at these and, and how it corresponds to the labor force that we have. We're running up those numbers. We did this with the fire department a few years back where we saw excessive overtime that drove us to put four more offices on. We're running into overtime because we just don't have enough people. Mm -hmm. One thing to talk about the trash going up, I, I'm sorry, about the snow going up, it snowed. We had ice. They were out there. But this is trash in low, uh, this is um, transfer station in low time of the year. But something I might add to that, Madam Chairman, if you will, if you look at the two lines above it, though, the West waste keeping fees and the waste hauling, mm -hmm. you notice we're way down on those, and those are big numbers. Mm -hmm. And that more than offsets the uh, wages we're talking about further down. So when I was looking at the bigger picture, if you will, I didn't get too excited about that because it's going to continue along pretty good along this line because the more pick trash we pick up, the more recycling we pick up the more we'll save out of the tipping fees and the less we'll be spending for hauling <coughs> trash up to the landfill even though we still pay also pay to send up the domain. But Michael, so there is a little bit of a, a little bit of a wash there is what I'm trying to say. Not not to cover it like you said, but doesn't that uh, point you just make a big question why we're spending so much in overtime to pick up less trash? More trash. No, you just said we're picking up less, didn't you? Well, we're doing recycling. Well, trash that takes mm -hmm. out of the trash uh, flow. Yes. Right. There's trash but and there's recycling. Right. And I'm just wondering, there, there ought to be, if we're spending more overtime in that space, I'm assuming that we're efficiently distributing the labor, there ought to be a, a, a compensating increase in the amount of trash and recycling combined. And I'm not sure we're seeing that. Well, it, it, it otherwise they ought to be picking up more if they're working longer. Yeah. But one of the arguments we have, though, with the tipping fees going down, you're picking up more recyclables, mm -hmm. and that balance is going a little this bit. way. Not but you're still using, you're still using manpower. But the and my concern is that I'm sorry, 
we're at 48 percent. Well, I understand. Quiet time I, of the year. I understand that concern. We're not and on a seven-day schedule yet. And, and I guess my 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 big question mark is more anecdotal because you know on my street we have the the automatic arms that come through, mm -hmm. and they do that all summer long. But when it's not summertime, they don't use the automatic truck arms. They use labor. And I'm like, that's very curious to me why that's done that way. Mm -hmm. uh, it may be more efficient for reasons that are not visible to me. I don't know, but uh, I see an increase in, in, in uh, overtime, and, and I'm wondering if we're having an increase in tonnage of combined recycle and trash that we ought to see. And if we are seeing that, why, with a population that's relatively stable, are we seeing more uh, disposal? I have the reports on the tonnage. Mm -hmm. I'll send them out information on it. But another thing you're missing is when you go to those side arms, which we all thought that's a good idea for various reasons. It takes one person to drive that. If you have the real loader, real loader, you're dumping three people, two guys on the back. Right. So it's it advantageous to use the side arms. Yeah, right. But there's been a lot of political problems with that when I was on the board, trying to move in that direction. And I'll just let it stop. Yeah, more than 90% of our streets can take the articulating arm trucks. Mm -hmm. Less than 10% would be rear loaders. And yet, you see an awful lot of rear loaders on the streets with one or two people on the back. It, you know, it doesn't, is, it doesn't make sense to me that on my street, that in the summertime, it's always the articulating arm trucks, all summer long. Yeah. But when the summer's over, I don't see the articulating arms until next summer. Mm -hmm. And this is rather odd to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I know we don't have enough to cover every neighborhood, so I don't know if they rotate them around. Um, I'm sure some debate is going to come up regarding the trucks. I will tell you that I have strange hobbies sometimes. <laughs> I happen to live in a neighborhood where the, the um, trucks work very well. Yeah. And mm -hmm. my neighbors respond and put their trash out very well, always spaced. Yeah. That's part of it too, okay? And well, my street is nice in that regard as well. No, and I'm, I'm <laughs> saying there are some that conform and some that don't conform, and there's money to be spent or, or or not spent based on conformity in itself. That truck can come down in an orderly manner. There's ten houses in the street that's perpendicular to my house. On three different occasions, I've had a selectman sit in my living room and watch the truck go down and time it. Mm -hmm. All right, ten houses, five minutes, three times in a row, give or take a couple of seconds. That's efficient. One guy and one truck. Yep. All right, the recycling truck. I don't want to let it out, but you know, I both trucks come down for me with one driver, same way. Five minutes down. Is it year round that one? And year year round for me, you know. Why is it uh, seasonal for me? Is like. <laughs> I don't know, and and it's like I don't know that we get into that. I know we don't have <laughs> trucks for every neighborhood. But we have to look at some of these things. When the trucks first came in, we said, oh, my God, they're costing us a fortune. And then, wh what, Jerry, we bought ones with two arms. We only need one arm, all right? So they're more expensive. But these are things to weigh as you go through the budget year because they could possibly be saving us quite a bit mm -hmm. on manpower. There is a trade-off there. And, you know, are we, Jim, are we accumulating any um, repair records on these? Yeah, keep this going. Now, yes, yes. okay. So you'll have more of that information, but I think this is the kind of stuff we have to we have to really dig into. And, and are, are we going to do a subcommittee for DBW like we have in the past? Now that we have uh, an expert on board again, probably. The only question I have is the question I have is aren't we really? Stepping on the toes of the board of selectmen, we don't really no. interact. With no, well, we don't really interact with the departments monthly. This is about money. I understand. When you look that. at this. I understand that, but I mean, it's isn't it the responsibility for the board of board of selectmen to ride herd on each department and see? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. And it's it is, but we're not telling them how to do it. We're just looking at the money. No, I right. understand that. But we're we just looking at the money, money saying, here's, here's a, a budget we, of money. We get the monthly cents. reports from the finance. They, they get them all. And it's and a cooperative uh, effort, sunny by everybody. Yeah. And right? Because they're five people and they're stretched. Every board is stretched. Our job is to look at the numbers and, and dig at them a little bit 
and say, you know what, can we make a bed mousetrap? And then it's up to the board to figure out how to make the mousetrap. And I can honestly say we discussed this more than once when I was in the <laughs> Yeah. We beat it to death. All right, so beating Let's it move on to the next point here and so try to get this over with and get out of here sometime tonight. Please. Please. Let's move to 16 to 16 real quick. Okay, and this will be my last point because I don't want to believe you guys too much tonight my first shot. You look at item, the fifth, I think it's the fifth item down at the very top of the page, 16 and 16, the personnel administration. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's a grand total, but if you look at the details back on the other page or where it gets into the details, what caused that to be a little on the high side is the buyback program for buying back sick days. They now can borrow money from that, to take money out of that program to buy a house. It doesn't say all that in the details, but I'm telling you what it is. And it's frozen now. They froze it last night. They okay. can't use it anymore. Okay. They froze it the because the budget yeah. reached the max. That well, they, were, they had already overran that line mm -hmm. item, and they were taking it out of another one right above it. So mm -hmm. I think it's a... I, yeah. What page is that on the details? I can't remember. You said 16 to 16. 16. Oh, no, 16 to 16. Now, that's, that's oh, the grand thing. The, the, all the details are on page... Uh, I have one. It's out of order. I don't know why. It's, it's never in order. Here we go. On page 3 of 16, towards the bottom, is this personal administration. Third item down. Hold, 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 you can sell back your sick pay. That's what it's for at the end of the day, yeah. and all that sort of thing. But the, the well, I was just like when we passed the thing that's saying that they have this special thing by some like a 401k, but that's not the right number. It's some three or four digit alpha thing that they can also be allowed to get money to buy a house with. Mm -hmm. Okay, by taking money out of that fund, which mm -hmm. is basically their sick pay money. And you said you stopped that last night. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. well, yeah. No, that's what I'm... It seems to be easy. Mike said, no, Mike said last night. They, 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 they can only... They can only... They can only... But we, allow, we change it so they can do use... Take this money and buy a house if they want to. Now, well, and why shouldn't they be able to? Yeah. No, no, borrow well, money. It's to borrow uh, money. Not, not to take the money out, but to borrow. I've seen a buyback. No, no, buyback yeah. is when you leave and you go, uh, retire right. That's right. and you get your money. Right. Okay, but before you retire, now you can take money by borrowing it out of the fund to buy a house with. And that caused this line item to go a little on the high side. But well, you seem to uh, put a, a negative tone on this. No, it's not a negative tone. That, negative. that, that, that count this employee should not be allowed that... They couldn't do it until we passed it while I was a slutman. Then what's wrong with that? Okay. I just think, well, why are we making it sound like there's something? It's not that way to me. It's not that way to me. I was talking about the numbers, Richard. The numbers are all in the hole. You can take it to buy a house. Take it to buy a house. Take it to buy a house. Anyway, that's it. Jenny, you have a question. Because they can't take it to buy a car, Richard. All right. They can take it to buy a house. Anyway, you got the idea. All right. 